are this proof. Asian Paints White and Asian Paints Ultima Blue. I had to write the color names there so that I don't forget. You can see that I am not painting the actual piece they have sent me, but it's um, elements of both that I have added with each other and I'm of course adding my own elements to it. You can hear the sound of the birds from outside so um, I don't always use music when I'm painting. Uh, it messes my head and my thoughts. I actually prefer the sound of nature. Uh, so for the record I don't talk to myself so much when I'm painting. I'm only doing it because um, I needed to document the proof of my work. Um, yeah, I've already showed this for the India Book of Records and um, I mean it's given me a lot of anxiety to do to, to document on a video because um, it's too intimate a process for me. Uh, quite contrary to otherwise me being on camera. But gotta do it. So um, you're going to hear me talk in the background as I, you know, try and work with this particular piece. Um, I wasn't doing so well in the morning. Uh, I think it was food, you know, it's always food. I had this massive headache, um, this heartburns that I thought was anxiety. Of course, I have every reason on earth to actually feel depressed and, ans and anxious about my life, just like everybody else. Uh, just cause I'm a practitioner uh, does not mean I'm a perfect human being and I have it all like set. I have my really, really low days. Um, and I can tell you that there are um, when I actually look at it, uh, I can find a cause to why I'm feeling low. Um, if, I, if I pay enough attention, I can actually find the reason to what's making me feel um, really low or sad or um, depressed. Um, and that's why I say that, you know, very often it's, I don't really subscribe to the conventional view of what mental illness and mental disorders can be. Maybe others do. Right, there's some dry particles here. Can't have these dry paint. Um, as you can see, I gotta make sure the canvas is clean and I use. Um, the thinnest amount of layer of paint, the reason being is the canvas is not stretched. I, I don't have that large an area to work with, so I have to work with every um, 5 feet by 4 feet according to the table tennis table that I'm working on. Um, so I really need to use um, thin paint. Right, because um, right after I finish this and it dries, I have to roll it in order for me to work with the next set of stories. This is not a perfect circle, um, although it looks like a yin and yang. Um, don't uh, let it confuse you as to me making a perfect circle of a yin and yang. I have intentionally not done so. Um, I'm also telling you my story as I paint. So what we have going on here is a complete circle of, of life, right? We, I have the participant who has trusted me with uh, his story. Um, and I am, I'm not going to lie, of course, I, I, that's not something I do, and obviously I am feeling a lot of the pain myself, uh, apart from my own otherwise, you know, messed up head. Um, but that's kind of what shared consciousness actually means. Um, 
It's tough. Um, I can tell you for sure. Quite frankly, I, I really didn't want to come up and paint today. I have been postponing uh, doing the works um, of the canvas rolls that came last week. I, I have been postponing it because I, well, I had issues, right? We all had issues and it's not like um, I have it all together. Um, and why am I connecting to Henry's yin and yang here is to, to also show that it's not a perfect yin and yang, all right? It's, it's not a perfect circle, it's not a perfect yin, it's not a perfect yang, and that in essence is, it's yin symbolizes the divine uh, feminine principle in us, and the yang symbolizes the masculine principle in, in, in us. Uh, we always say yin or yang. We never say yang or yin. The problem of what gender you are. It is mostly about bringing on the right balance for yourself. You know, um, too much of a female principle can also be bad, and too much of a male principle in your body can also be bad. And um, so this yin and yang is not a perfect circle, it's not a perfect yin, it's, it's not a perfect yang. Um, and why am I connecting or how am I connecting to this piece is uh, wh what I really love about the story that uh, was shared is um, this is a yoga master himself who teaches other people. And when I read it, it stuck. A, you know, it struck a chord because um, being a yoga teacher, he, you know, people expect him to also have it all perfect, right? And have his life sorted out. Nobody is really, nobody's got it all together. Um, anybody who has it together is just a good performer. I mean, I know when I give my talks, and compared to right now when I look like this and. I'm not really feeling my best, and um, I took my hair off because um, uh, I really didn't want to look at myself anymore. Because um, I'm so involved in this process that you know everything got in between it, including the way I look. And I was asking myself that, hey, you know, um, your cool hair, you know, why didn't you go get yourself a haircut? Um, all these expectations, right? I have to tell myself that when I'm working, when I'm in with my canvas, I'm not performing for anybody. Uh, I'm not performing neither for this video. Um, as I said, I have to document the process for yeah, in a book of records so they know um, I'm the one doing this. Come back to Henry's um, story is the same thing. People, I mean, I connected to it because, you know, the stress is to, to, to be a certain way, to be happy all the time, to have it perfect all the time, to look great all the time. Guys, like, come on. I mean, really, I, I know I'm crazy and I'm schizophrenic, but I don't really know which world everybody else is living in. I mean, that's what the pressure is. That's what social media does, you know? you're stuck in this loop of constantly having to perform um, and it's not a nice loop right it's really not a nice loop